Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon and welcome to the University of Adelaide graduation ceremony. This afternoon's ceremony is for graduates from the Faculty of Health Sciences. The ceremony will commence very shortly. The university has a contract photographer to provide photography service during the ceremony. If you wish to take photos during the ceremony, I would ask that you do so discreetly from your seat and please do not use flash. To maintain the ceremony's decorum, could you please also switch off your mobile phones? For safety reasons, I would ask guests not to enter the galleries upstairs and please do not sit on the steps in the balcony area. In the event of an emergency, please follow the instructions of the security officers and ushers. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the academic procession which is about to enter the hall. And please remain standing for the Nas Australian National Anthem. You are encouraged to join in the singing. The text of the anthem is printed on page two of your graduation program. Please rise for the academic procession.
I, Robert Murray Hill, Chancellor of the University of Adelaide, declare open this congregation convened for the purposes of presenting degrees. Distinguished guests, parents, relatives, friends, and especially graduates, welcome to the University of Adelaide's graduation ceremony. I wish to acknowledge the Ghana people, the original custodians of the Adelaide Plains, and the land on which the University of Adelaide's campuses at North Terrace, Waite, Theberton and Roseworthy are built. Graduates, your graduation is an event in which you and your family and friends can take great pride. It's also a source of pride and satisfaction for the University of Adelaide. Graduation day is an opportunity for you to reflect both on the past and on the future. This may well be a very significant change in direction in your life. Whatever directions your life may take, the skills that you've acquired and developed here will stand you in good stead, not only in your working and professional life, but in life generally. It now gives me great pleasure to introduce to you today's graduation orator, Professor Michael Kidd. Professor Michael Kidd is a general practitioner, a leading international primary care researcher and educator, and the executive dean of the Faculty of Health Sciences at Flinders University. He's a past president of the Royal Australian College of General Practitioners, and in June this year will become the next president of the World Organization of Family Doctors. In addition to being an advisor on health issues to the World Health Organization and the Australian and South Australian governments, he's also a member of the board of Beyond Blue and a member of the board of the Cora Barclay Centre for Death and Hearing Impaired Children. We're privileged to hear him speak today. Please welcome Professor Michael Kidd. Well, good afternoon, and my congratulations to everybody on your graduation today. Becoming a graduate of the University of Adelaide, one of Australia's great universities, one of the world's great universities, is a momentous occasion. And I join with your family members and your friends who are here today to celebrate your achievement. And please be especially nice to your mum and dad today. <laughs> if they insist on lots of photos after the ceremony, it's because they're full of pride and love and joy. So remember, this is their day of celebration as well. I received my undergraduate degree from another university, uh, the University of Melbourne, 30 years ago this year. And as I sat where you are now, instead of listening to the occasional address, I was dreaming about where my career was going to take me. And most of what I imagined turned out to be wrong. 
You've got no idea the exciting places that your degree and your career are going to take you over the coming years. I was focused on becoming a competent medical intern, and I really didn't know that I was going to become a researcher or a professor or a dean or the president of a Royal Medical College or the president of a global health organisation. D didn't know what was going to happen. I also didn't know what sort of clinical challenges I was going to face as a doctor. At the time that I graduated, there was a new disease just starting to appear around the world, and that disease became known as AIDS, now known to be caused by the human immunodeficiency virus, HIV. A few years after my graduation, when I'd finished my postgraduate training as a general practitioner, I looked around to decide where I should practice. And as a gay man in the late 1980s, with people who I loved being affected by this terrible infection, it was obvious what I should do. And so I started working as a GP with the Gay Men's Health Centre in Melbourne, providing care to people with HIV. And at that time, it was the best of times and it was also the worst of times. I received great inspiration from my patients who taught me how to be a good doctor. I also worked with an incredible group of people in a multidisciplinary community clinic with caring doctors and nurses and counsellors and alternative medicine practitioners and a large number of volunteer members of the community, all doing what we could do to assist our patients. But at that time, in the late 1980s, early 1990s, AIDS was an inevitably terminal disease. Every one of my patients with HIV was doomed to die. And on average, each week, one young person attending our practice and aged in their 20s and 30s would die from AIDS, one young person dying every week. And the best we could do was support our patients with managing their symptoms, listening to their concerns, and support them to die with dignity, and if they wish, to die in, with support in their own homes. And then in 1995, one of the modern miracles of medicine happened. New treatments were introduced, and overnight, this inevitably terminal disease became a manageable chronic condition. My patients who were close to death suddenly started to improve and gain weight and strength and health and return to their normal lives. It was the most extraordinary experience of my clinical career, and it was the result of work of researchers and clinicians and advocates and universities like this and governments around the world, and especially of people with HIV all around the world, banding together to do what they could to reduce human suffering and early death. And so too, you will have the chance to use your degree and your future career to make an impact on the lives of other people and to help make this world a better place for everybody. I've got five pieces of advice I want to share with you, and you might like to take out your iPhone, your Android, and type these down, if that's what you do now. Uh, and if not, I gather the address will be on the web at some stage. So number one, number one, my first piece of advice. You've had some great teachers and some great model, role models here at the University of Adelaide, and you'll have many more great people who are going to support you throughout your career. And I urge you to identify the qualities that you admire most in your role models, your mentors and your colleagues, and then adopt them as your own. Think about what makes this person a great doctor or a great health professional, and look at, look at what makes them special. And this will help you to build up your own set of values that you will live your life by. Number two, your reputation is something you should cherish. When you've got a hard choice to make, Always do the right thing. Make your decisions using your head and your heart. And uphold your integrity in everything that you do. Number three, you need to make plans for your future. It doesn't just happen. So I urge you to develop goals for every aspect of your life, for your spiritual life, for your physical health and your mental health, for your career, and for your relationships with other people, especially those who love you and provide you with the support and the resilience and the strength to be able to face great challenges and achieve wonderful things. Number four, be a great co-worker. Provide support to your colleagues, the people who work alongside you every day and who share your commitment to excellence. As a healthcare professional, these are the people who are supporting you to deliver the highest possible quality care to the people who trust you for their healthcare and advice, your patients. And number five, 
find the meaning and purpose in your everyday work and then discover and rediscover every day of your life the great joy and the great privilege it is to work in health and to work helping other people. I wish you all well with your future careers. Always remember, no matter where your career takes you and no matter where in the world you end up living and working, that the work that you do in healthcare will continue to be needed and to be valued. Never forget that we're privileged to work in health and to work with our patients and with our local communities. And never forget that through our work, each of us makes a positive difference to the lives of our patients, our communities and our world every single day. I wish you all a great and wonderful career. Thank you. On behalf of the graduates and their families attending this afternoon's ceremony, I would like to thank Professor Michael Kidd AM for his stimulating and inspiring address. We are honoured that you have taken the time to join us on this special day to share with us your thoughts and experiences. Your words of advice and encouragement are greatly appreciated. They remind us that education places upon each of us an enduring responsibility to make the best possible use of our talents and to contribute to the betterment of society in whatever way we can. Please join me in once again thanking Professor Michael Kidd AM. Chancellor, in 2009, the university established the University Doctoral Research Medals. These medals are awarded to graduates who have completed outstanding research at doctoral level. This award is the premier award for doctoral candidates at the university. I, Professor Warren Bebbington, Vice-Chancellor and President of the University of Adelaide, present to you these winners of the 2012 University Doctoral Research Medals. For research in the field of medicine, Anna Leonard. And for research in the field of medicine, Rowan Valentine. Chancellor, every year the university presents university medals to acknowledge the most outstanding graduates in each faculty who have completed an undergraduate honours program or a bachelor program of at least four years duration. The university medals are awarded to them for their consistently outstanding performance across the whole of their undergraduate studies. I, Professor Warren Bebbington, Vice-Chancellor and President of the University of Adelaide, present to you the winners of the 2012 University Medals from the Faculty of Health Sciences. Alicia Fitzpatrick. and Bianca Van Diemen. I receive the candidate for degrees and I call again the Vice-Chancellor. Chancellor, I, Professor Warren Bebbington, Vice-Chancellor and President of the University of Adelaide, certify to you and the whole university that the graduates who will be presented to you have fulfilled all the conditions prescribed for admission to the awards for which they are so presented. 
I, Robert Murray Hill, Chancellor of the University of Adelaide, by virtue of the power committed to me by the University, confirm that each graduate is admitted to the rank and privileges of a holder of the award in the University of Adelaide for which uh, they are so presented. And I call on the Executive Dean of the Faculty of Health Sciences to, pre to present the graduates. Chancellor, <coughs> I, Professor Justin Bilby, present to you the graduates from the Faculty of Health Sciences. To the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, for a thesis entitled, The Role of Nuclear Progesterone Receptor, PGR, in Regulating Gene Expression, Morphology and Function in the Ovary and Oviduct During Periobitary Period, Lisa Kathleen Atkinson. For a thesis entitled, Angiogenesis Regulating Gene Polymorphisms in Adverse Pregnancy Outcomes, Preba, Hamali, and Drewira. For a thesis entitled, Post-Marketing Vaccine Safety Surveillance Using Data Linkage, The Issue of Consent, Jessia Gail Berry. For a thesis entitled in The Environment and the Host in Chronic Rhinosinusitis, Samuel Joseph Bowes. <laughs> For a thesis entitled The Role of Small Glutamine Rich Tetrapeptide Repeat Containing Protein Alpha in fit the Female Reproductive Tissues, Miriam Simone Butler. For a thesis entitled, Culturing Embryos from Cleavage to Blastocyst Stage, an Opportunity to Improve Pluripotency and Embryonic Stem Cell Generation Efficiency, Jared Campbell. <laughs> for a thesis entitled, Gene Therapy for Mild and Lamolinc Aciduria, Edward Wong Sern Yen. For a thesis entitled, The Role of Hexamine Biosynthesis Pathway and beta o glycosylation in Determining Uosote Developmental Competence, Laura Alice Frank. <laughs> For a thesis entitled, Characterising the Role of Substance P in Human and Experimental Brain Tumours, Elizabeth Asher Harwood-Wright. For a thesis entitled, Optimal Delivery of Therapeutic Genes to Pancreatic Islets, Amy Hughes. <laughs> For a thesis entitled, The Underlying Molecular Regulators and Their Effects on Mineralization in the Trabecular Bone Microenvironment and the Osteoblast of Primary Hip Osteoarthritis, Dominda Danajara Karamasinghe. For a thesis entitled, The Role of Vitamin D Receptor in Osteoblasts and Bone Mineralization, Na Nok Lam. <laughs> For a thesis entitled, The Safe Administration of Rapid Rintaxabib Infusion, an Evidence-Based Approach, Xiu Ping Lang. For a thesis entitled, The Effects of Histone Desertletylase Inhibitor LBH589 on Breast Cancer in Bone and Physiological Bone Remodeling, Michelle Yik Yi Li. <laughs> For a thesis entitled, Characterizing the Role of Substance P Following, sp following sp Traumatic Spinal Cord Injury, Anna Victoria Leonard. For a thesis entitled, The Role of Substance P in the Progression and Complications of Secondary Brain Tumours, Kate Marie Lewis. For a thesis entitled, Non-Invasive Imaging of Atherosclerotic Plaque Prior to Percutaneous Interventional Procedures, Gary Yin Hyo Liu.
for a thesis entitled Epigenetics in Cancer, Basic and Translational Aspects, Lim Su Ping. For a thesis entitled, The MIR200 Family is Controlled by Epigenetic-Based Mechanisms and Mediates Transition Between Non-Stem and Stem, stem Cell-Like Phenotypes, Yat Yuan Lim. For a thesis entitled, A Tumor Recessive Role for FOXP3 and FOXP3 Regulated MicroRNAs in Breast Cancer Cells, Natasha Jacqueline McGuinness. For a thesis entitled, Smokeless Tobacco and Coronary Heart Disease, Risks Among Non-Smokers in Bangladesh, Mohammed Aziz Rahman. For a thesis entitled, The Modification of Heart Rate Variability in Normal, Overweight and Type 2 Diabetic Patients, Nicholas John Schoberg. For a thesis entitled Investigation into the Expression and Localization of CKIT and the Regulation of KIT Ligon Gene Expression in the Adult Human Ovary, Astrid Rebecca Rose Tuck. For a thesis entitled Hemostasis and Wound Healing Following Endoscopic Sinus and Skull Base Surgery, Rowan James Valentine. For a thesis entitled On Dealing with Death and Dying, a Qualitative Study of the Experiences of Surgeons, Oncologists, Intensive Care and Palliative Care Specialists, Sophia Carolina Zambrano. For a thesis entitled Renan Angiotensin System Polymorphisms and Pregnancy Complication, Zhu Ang. to the degree of Master of Philosophy, Medical Science. For a thesis entitled, The Effect of Bone Anabolic Stimuli on Human Osteoblast to Osteocyte Transition, Katie Jane Weldon. <laughs> to the degree of Master of Medical Science. For a thesis entitled, The Contribution of Soy Consumption to Three Current Major World Academic Diseases, Dante Antonio Rossiano. To the degree of Master of Surgical Science, Anthony William Farfus. <laughs> to the degree of Master of Biostatistics, Jing Wu. <laughs> to the degree of Master of Brief and Palliative Care Counseling, Susan Margaret Crossman. To the degree of Master of Health Economics and Policy, Marcus Andrew Johnson. <laughs> Paraband Mishra. <laughs> and Arlene Vogan. <laughs> to the degree of Master of Public Health, Linda Shuei Fen Jarrett. Janine K. Mitchell, <laughs> Abigail Juniper Townsend, <laughs> and Anne Marie Twisk. <laughs> to the Graduate Diploma in Counseling and Psychotherapy, Vasiliki Adrikas. To the Graduate Diploma in Occupational Health and Safety Management, Lon Tai Bik Nguyen. <laughs> to the Graduate Certificate in Public Health, Amani Khaled Q. Lamphoon. <laughs> to the degrees of Bachelor of Medicine and Bachelor of Surgery, Abhiram Na Ramacharan. Vanessa Claire Alexander. 
Elizabeth Claire Allen. Thomas James Altry. Kate and Arthur. Christopher St. John Astill. Peter Tan Avina. Daniel Habib Awad. Bobak Barami. Philippa Claire Baker. Anna Helene Balabansky. Michael James Bolt. Sarah Ann Borg. Sophie Jane Bradshaw. Omar Brick. Roman Breast. Alison Sarah Brown. Oliver Edward Burgess. Charmaine Woon Chi Chai. Jeremy William Chalk. <laughs> Stephanie Yik Shun Chen. <laughs> Richie Jacob Cherian. <laughs> Tanya Chesser. <laughs> Bridget Mary Connolly. Kwok Siong Jerry Deng. <laughs> Clarissa Damasetian. <laughs> Brianna Sian Davis. <laughs> Alexander Dobronowski. <laughs> Lucy Catherine Donovan. Thaisa Maria Doniak Wall. <laughs> Yang Timothy Du. <laughs> Tanya Margaret Duke. <laughs> Ihui Chin Sara. <laughs> Ashley Ashney Ann Elias. Samuel J. Charles Ellison. <laughs> Hamish William, William Esk. <laughs> Alice Sarah Grace Fitzgerald. <laughs> Alyssa Kate Fitzpatrick. <laughs> Stephanie Ann Fong. Charlotte Emily Forrest. <laughs> Alison Catherine Fraser. <laughs> Timothy Hamilton French. <laughs> Madeline Gregorson Gill. <laughs> Alexander Lindsay Gordon. Nelson Granke. <laughs> Melissa Helene Hamer. <laughs> Dana Louise Hartley. <laughs> Afsana Paveen Hassan. <laughs> Mark Macquarie Hassel. <laughs> Rosita. Ho, Richard James Winter Hoffman, Paul Graham Hosking, Tracy Jia Sheng Sayer, Stephanie Von Humphrey, 
Georgina Laura Irish. Aida Farina Ismail. Julia Claire Yench. Vishnu Reddy Jagannathan. Tanya Marie Justice. Claire Catherine Keogh. Ki Long Hyong. Soma Krishnan. Ting Kia Yueng Kwok. David Himwei Min Lam. Laura Marion Lam. Laura Jin Wei. Abby Marie LeBlanc. Sharon Kaint LeBlanc. Ho Yen Jo Lee. Catherine Madsen. Alicia Lee Yun Ma. Joshua Mah Mahadavan. Rosemary Diane McBain. Sophie Rhiannon McCallum. Nicholas John McNeil. Justin Julian Mensel. Jonathan Derek Mott Lake. Cheryl Jinning Ao Yong. Despina Paps. Jenna Ann Patterson. Paul David Panitiot. William Pham. <laughs> Kerry Ann Olivia Philp. <laughs> Kristen Louise Parides. <laughs> Chen Yen Po. <laughs> Vincent John Kit Powell. <laughs> Amy Hyo Ying Pon. And he also receives the honours degrees in the Bachelor of Medical Science. <laughs> Dana Kwa Smith. <laughs> Anira Rajapalan. <laughs> Kiran Sonia Ram Belas. <laughs> Sungita Ramanan. Kyung Min Ree, <laughs> Rosanna Alice Rotcliffe, <laughs> Alice Penelope Rogers, <laughs> Dana Rudax, <laughs> Alice Edith Sakwa, <laughs> Adelaide Denise Schumann. Melissa Kate Shields. <laughs> Marawa Nilawira Silva. <laughs> Mary Claire Elizabeth Simons. <laughs> Liara Singh. <laughs> Nicholas William Smith. <laughs> Wei Ting Su. Martin Paul Sturk. <laughs> Jonathan Wernjaya Tang. <laughs> Nicholas Yu Xiang Ting. <laughs> Alice Victoria Thompson. 
Jessica Kate Tidswell. <laughs> Tu Nok Tran. Jacqueline Kate Turner. <laughs> Natasha Junjing Ung. Nisha Vinkatesh. Vijaya Tubini Vijarajan. Michael Wasef. Timothy Paul Weber. Michael James Waitman. Hannah Marie Wellington. Melissa Kelly Whalen, <laughs> Wong Hui Yan, <laughs> Chong Zhu, <laughs> and Slatin Zulfich. <laughs> to the honours degree of Bachelor of Health Sciences, Natalie Abu State. Zinab Ali, Marie Rose Anastasi, Fiona Marie Bright, Laura Edna Casey, Louisa Caballo, Jennifer Claire Chadbourne. Catherine Beth Dancy, Jessica Suzanne Dawson, Nathaniel John DeHair, Emma Victoria Dunstan, Tani Jane Fran. Tani also receives the Bachelor of Arts. Suzanne Beth Good, <laughs> Sophia Hesionotis, <laughs> Leanne Shell Hill, <laughs> Claire Louise Hoban, <laughs> Jonathan Henry Jacobson, <laughs> Murad Hassan Kedder. Mohammed Kugi, <laughs> Ya Win Olivia Lee, <laughs> Kimberly Ann Madder, <laughs> Isabella Rose Meredith, <laughs> Shamika Tenny Moore, <laughs> Margaret Alicia Sprit. Kyle, Kyle James, James Ratcliffe, <laughs> Alison Elizabeth Robb, <laughs> Bianca Josephine Rossitano, <laughs> Marnie Ann Spillane, <laughs> Sven Yuri Sirakal, <laughs> Lin Yin Tan, And it's Bernard Sui. <laughs> Bianca Ann Van Diemen. <laughs> Marinda Jane Vink. <laughs> Hannah Wardle. <laughs> Melissa Ashley White. <laughs> Melanie Ruth Whitwer. Wong Xiao Ling. <laughs> Bi Yu Yo. And Bi Hong Zhang. <laughs> Geology degree of the Bachelor of Medical Science, Rachel Catherine Goggin. 
Michael Yu Yu Li, Setish Paramisavan, Richard Seglenix, Peter Chern Vianovkov, Nikhail Vivak Diarajan, Mahesh Michael Umpathathiasavam, and Catherine Margaret Watson. To the degree of Bachelor of Health Sciences, Kent Orgate, Juliana Bayich, Rachel Joy Bala, Colin Leonard Henry Bennett, Belinda Carla Byrne, Roxanne K. Carboni, Emily Jane Caton, Amy Jade Clark, Roxanne Elizabeth Jane Coleman, Anna Cowan, Josh Harrison Dawkins, Amrita Duga, Claire Rachel Drogenmuller, Shari Lynn Duthry, Jutran Than Vo, Ashley Louise Eichler, William Henry Ellison, Catherine Jane Fife, Kimberly Jane Guess, Eliza Rosemary Catherine Harley, Hamad Hassan, Emily Kate Hawkins, Heng Ju Hui In, Natalie Rose Harriet, Taylor Page Hill, Stella Iano, Kylie Reese Jones, who also receives the Bachelor of Social Sciences, Priya Krishnan, Lim Yi Yan Janis, Helen Livisianos, Jack Andrew McGarry, Stephanie Louisa Manuel, <laughs> Kelly Marie McAteer, <laughs> Carlin Christine Mitris, <laughs> Victoria Jean Motenden, <laughs> Emma Grace Murison, <laughs> Laura Kate Nan. Gavin Scott Ninnis, Kimberly Jane Domond, Monira Osman, Jordan Lindley Peters, Stephanie Lauren Plummer. Vanetta Louise Polyak, <laughs> Hamish Benjamin Puddy, <laughs> Alison Faye Ryan, <laughs> Joseph Daniel Shuren, <laughs> Ali Francis Smith, <laughs> Romani Laura Stansborough, 
Abdurrahman Tia. Anika Theodolu. Samuel John Edward Tilly. V. Tiong Tran. Ebony Alice Walker. Amy Rose Watts, who also receives the Diploma in Languages. Victoria Ellen White. Stacy Marie Wilson. And Alexandra Therese Wisdom. To the degree of Bachelor of Dental Surgery, Shi Kui Kuo. Andrew John South and Simon Andrew Toms. Concluding the ceremony, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank the mace bearer, the musicians and singer, and all staff and student volunteers who assisted in the organization and running of the ceremony. I invite you all to light refreshments in the Eclipse Function Room on level four of the Union Building on the lower level of the campus, and the signage to direct you to the Union Building and also to Hub Central where photographers, framing and other merchandise will be available. I have great pleasure in congratulating all the new graduates here today. As graduates of the University of Adelaide, you are also its alumni and ambassadors for the university. Over the years since the University of Adelaide was established, its alumni have made an enormous contribution to the community, both here and throughout the world. You have a stake in this great institution because the qualifications it has given you and your experience while here are yours for life. Your knowledge, friendship, active participation and interest in the university's ongoing development are very important to its continuing reputation and strength. I invite you to stay in contact with us via the online community, Adelaide Online, and you'll receive login details and a membership card over the next month. I now ask the new graduates to remain seated in the audience to stand and join with me in congratulating the graduates on their achievements. With the audience remain standing and the graduates now please stand for the academic procession followed by the VIP guests and graduates and I now declare this congregation to be adjourned.